this episode, as we talked about uh, the, the, we're going to talk about top three rejection reasons, right, for international student visa. So, as someone obviously who, you know, you're the one who's been the other side of the table, right. you know, including yeah. yourself, everybody that I talk to, you know, our student community, everybody has been this side. So you're the one who's been the other side. So um, let's talk about those three, like, let's say, I know there are many reasons, right? But let's just, you know, for the purpose of the video and the purpose of obviously talking and, and helping uh, students, let's talk about the top three reasons in your mind, what you think yeah. those are, and then we can kind of get into details and conversations about that. Okay, so, um, the top three reasons, uh, what we're talking about here is the top three reasons for having your visa rejected. And Ashkan and I talked about this and we want you to be positive. We want you to feel like this is something you can very much accomplish. So I'm going to give you top three ways in which you can really have a, the, your best chance of having your visa approved. Um, so uh, it's, it's lack of these things is what leads to the other result. So we're going to follow the law of attraction and we're going to talk about you realizing your dreams by actually getting the approval and then going on to study. So the first thing uh, is preparation. Uh, uh, you know, uh, lack of preparation obviously is, is, is what we're trying to avoid here. And with preparation, it's not any different than, you know, preparation for any big thing in your life, preparation for a test, preparation for, um, you know, some kind of important family event. Uh, and as you go on, preparation is going to be one of the key deciding factors of your success as a student and, and on from there. So one of the things that will, you know, preparation, you want to practice, you want to study. What you're doing with one key visa is excellent pre preparation. Another thing you should be prepared to do is explain why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, uh, when, when I would interview students, and you're, you're right, Ashkan, I've done many, ten, tens of thousands of interviews. And, you know, so you see, based on that much data, you see exactly what works and what doesn't work. If a student has no explanation why they're even trying to study something, why they're going to the United States, why they're going to this school, why they're choosing to study this program, that is likely someone who's not very prepared. They're just kind of, you know, uh, doing something they don't know quite know why all right and believe me it's not a criticism when you're 18 it's perfectly okay to not be sure what you want to do but what we're trying to do is prepare you to succeed and if you want to succeed it helps if you um, can talk about why you're doing what you're doing why you want to go to this school why you want to study this thing this subject uh, and so on and what your plans might be afterwards um, one, one or two other quick points on preparation. Avoid distractions and getting tips from people who are not experts who kind of decide that they weigh in. Look, I've spent a lot of time in, in, in you know, close with the culture of both Turkey and Iran. And as you know, as well as me, Ashkan, many people consider themselves experts on just about every subject. Absolutely. <laughs> Many. So, so you're talking to someone who had one visa interview and they had an experience and then another one maybe had one and they have a friend who had one. Uh, the, the, the expertise that we're providing you is from thousands and thousands of visa interviews. So uh, try to avoid getting it, you know, that or the other thing is chat rooms where somebody gives you some kind of crazy story about this happened here or that happened there. What we're doing is what you really need. And so you can save yourself a lot of time by not getting distracted by some of those other things. And then finally, and I'm gonna repeat this tip a couple times for each, know what is in your application materials. All right, if the consular officer asks you, uh, where are you going to college? And you don't know what city it's in, you're, you've got a big problem. <laughs> that means you never looked at your application material. So um, knowing what's in your application materials is not just good for student visas. It's the number one, probably the number one problem that people have with all kinds of visa interviews is they don't read and know what's in their own application materials. So those preparation items are really important. And Ashkan, you've done so much to help so many students and this preparation that we're doing with them uh, through one key visa is excellent 
and we'll we'll continue to work on helping to prepare them as best we can. So the number one is preparation.